please forgive me as I die all the time while filming these videos for the next week because I have the allergies, but I'm going to give y'all a haul for hauls because I actually realized I have more stuff over here that I need to show you. I don't even know if I could show you this one thing, but I don't really think Tiki cares too much. All right. So, and I also have wax, but I'll put that at the end. I feel like that's nice to have like a break at the end. You can hang out and listen to me talk about the wax. Okay. So, is this the beginning of the haul? It actually might be because it's only March 3rd. Um... So let's go ahead and hop right on into it. Um, I do have some orders from the Planet of the Hannah, so I'm gonna go ahead and open that up. I always have Hannah linked down below because she my bestie girl. Um, and I feel like she just has all the things I need. You know what I'm saying? So, um, this is like two orders i don't think one of them is an order i think one's just like my customs that i like whip up for us and then she just plops them out for me and it's just a great time got some journaling cards this is the hannah board game one which i actually saved one of these to put in our like board game more like scrapbookers so you know and then this one is the dementors outside of hogwarts which is a very cute um, and then let me show you my actual order and then I will, I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know. I think this is my order. Um, so first of all, if you use my code, um, you'll get one of my freebies, which my freebie right now, which this is how many times I've ordered, I think, um, since my freebie has been live and this is, um, like fourth wing inspired. So it says, a dragon without its rider is a tragedy. A rider without their dragon is dead, which I feel like you could just use that for like fantasy-esque. And I thought that like the design was really cool. I thought it did a good job. Um, and then my next month's one is also really fun. Um, not my next month, but next period. I don't know. And then finish fourth wing, finish iron flame. So if you have meaning to read fourth wing or you just really love it, it's like a good one to get. It's probably my, my most niche um, freebie I've done, but sometimes you got to do something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then the freebie, um, I'm just going to show you both of these for this month, which um, is very cute, is like the solid underlay. And then you can try it out and you can totally layer over like one of these over top of it and make your own little full box, which is fun. Um, so yeah, and also whenever you do these, like you will probably have leftover ones, which would be easy to throw into your spread with like a like a full box overlay and then like a quote you just make like a full box and then it like add, ties it all in you could see the underlay more too so this one's in heart hollow which I could definitely use for one of my birthday spreads and then this one is in um um lavender which I mean but you'll actually use it with this spread because it is lavender as well I think that's probably why she gave it to me um she knows I have a lot of heart hollow going on too I think I actually placed another order recently with heart hollow stuff so this here, um, I basically what happened was is uh, whenever I showed this mystery kit, which this was the February mystery, so it's exclusive or you can't find it anywhere else you're looking for it, check the buy sell trade group. Buy, sell, trade group. Um, someone was like, you should use green with it because there is like pops of green and there's the black. So I probably will mix this and that. And then I was like, oh, I don't know what kit I'm going to use it with. And someone's like, you should use it with for Wicked. And I was like, yo. That's a great idea. Also, this is what lemongrass looks like with it, if you wanted to know. I think lemongrass is too yellow, in my opinion. Um, but Hannah had this. I think it's a font of the month, question mark. Um, which maybe I should get, like, a custom multi just to have. Or I guess I could do I could do black for my scripts um, when the time comes. But I think this with the black is going to be so fun for Wicked. Um, it's like a slight nod, you know? Um... I think it's gonna be really fun. So I got the solid underlays. I'm gonna layer the black over top of it. I could also order like something movie related or like popcorn or something like to put over top of it in black if I wanted to. I feel like it would match fine. And then I also got the mixed overlays in the ice skating green is with font to the foil of the month. And then I got the Alphaba quotes, which I don't know if these quotes will be in the movie, but like don't care. And I'm honestly not even like I'm excited for the movie, but I really just like there's like, I don't know, like, I don't really like Ariana Grande very much, but 
I mean, I'm still going to watch it because it's wicked and I've been waiting for this moment for like 10 years. And then I also have this. I can layer like the black bow over it or do whatever I feel like at the time. People are so obnoxious. But I think that's going to be a cute combo. And thank you to the two people who said wicked and green because I think that that was really great and you really inspired me. Um, and then these are some customs I have. Um... So this is for in real time last week. Um, I'm using this with, um, what am I using this with? This kit, like a rose. I'm using, it's one of my pink confetti bundles. It's like a pink sparkly confetti pink. And then I'm using lilac with it. I think it was a really pretty combination. So these are my custom um, multi. This is in font two in the color lavender. I just designed these, but you can get a custom multi and then just follow the parameters. I think it's like 30 words or something. Um, in font two is if you want this font. Um, in lavender if you want this foil. So yeah, I'll put that with that. And then for um, the week that we went to Disney, I did all the scripts and then she just printed a set out for me and a set out for her. There's like a bunch of scripts on here. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these, but I like to give options because it's one of those why not type situations. Um, so this is in font nine and in hollow and I'm gonna use it with the Magic Kingdom set. And yeah, I'm just very, very excited. A um, bunch of stuff on here. I added some icons for things that happened just because I was like, well, we have room and I don't have an icon for like an elephant. So, and then I also um, then made us each a little sheet of things that, um, that, oh, sorry, Nick's texting me, um, that we did like for the days that we weren't together. So I didn't really have that many. So that's the case on that one. Then we'll move into my Aura Style order. I did do a like real unboxing and stuff, so it's not in this packaging, but it was all, of course, packaged perfectly. Um, and I placed an order and also she sent me this. So this was like in a different package, but this is coming out soon, I think. And she's really trying to get me to do like weeks in Hobonichi kits. And I'm like considering, but I don't feel like I know enough, but also, you never know until you try. So go over that last, but what I actually ordered, um, this was a little um, freebie. It's like matte stickers of planners, right? And then I think I ordered these, but I'm also not sure. It's just one of those things where I'm like, did I order this? Because I feel like it's something I would order, but I'm not 100% sure. But I have been using the like hobo sized A5 situation. I posted a picture of it on Instagram for my like daily all pen planner and I thought this would be cute to mark the months on the side so I can easily flip to them. Also speaking of the A5 journey that I'm on, I did want to order just a little grid notebook to kind of pair with that. Cool, it's perforated. I like that. And then I also ordered this, which is an A5 notebook. I actually ordered a B6 in both this and this. And then I like messaged her at like 3 a.m. And I'm like, I ordered them in the middle of the night. Can you switch those out? Because I don't, I don't know what I was thinking. Really, I don't. So then um, I don't think I need the strings, right? I think I can just like pop them in. But that's if you're using like traveler's notebooks, right? So then I can like put this in here. And then my other one's kind of all over the place already. You can already tell she's been like used. And then, it's been working out really well for me. Just stick those in. And especially like if I'm going somewhere or if I wanna like move it around my house, I feel like I'm like worried that the edges, cause like you can see like they're already like, pages already starting to get a little crumply, but it fits them perfectly. So I think this is gonna be really cute. White is a very dangerous option for me, but you know what, you know, love some and you know, learn some. Also, with that kind of situation, I did get the, like the corner clips. I don't really know what the what the whole thing is, but I was like, if I'm taking Instagram pictures, it would kind of hold them down more. And like during the week, I can do that. And it probably also helps flatten them, like, because I feel like mine are like curly after the week. So, pick these up. I was going to get them in pink because I feel like pink's like my aesthetic. I don't know, I just wear them pink. Um, but I feel like for pictures, white just makes more sense. So we have those. And then I also have, um, 
the time strip washi, which I have like an extra planner over here. We're going to do some tests in because I'm not all about like writing. Actually, actually, JK, I have like a page, I think, where I was like scribbling in this one. Here. Okay. You can see my like actual stuff underneath. Um, so basically these are like time slot washi rolls, which is cute. Um, they're very teeny, like very, very teeny. And I, the idea is, is you can like put them down and then plan out like times. Cause this is very open ended. I'm actually going to flip it back more cause I'm not going to use these pages. So basically how she works is you just go ahead and pull her off and then you can go ahead and well, this is like an odd number situation but you can just like I don't know, just like plop them down and then just and then you have like the times I don't really do too much time wise but if I th I thought if for some reason I wanted to try it out that this was like the neatest option I don't really love that it doesn't like align in the boxes but like maybe it's more for I don't know the I don't know maybe a different size because they look like evenly spaced out but maybe I also just put it down like slightly crooked and then it kind of just goes away I don't know. Let me know. It looks nice, though. It's hard to actually. I should probably pull it closer. It looks nice, though. But you see what I mean? Where, like, that is, like, centered in a box. And then it just, like, slightly goes off kilter. I don't really know. I could have did it wrong. Or it could just be that's just the way the cookie crumbled on it. And you just write where it lands. I'm just, like, very weird about, like, things being lined up. So. Here's that. I think the colors are cute, nice and like simple because the colors that I use in my planner, which I know this is like very bizarre <laughs> to use, but I use these like um, the Copic sketch markers. They're very like light um, when you like write with them. So I like that. I don't want it to be like a heavy color. And I know these are for like art, but I really like how like dainty the color is. The green's a little bit potent but everything else is very light so when I'm like writing it's not like it's like a hue but if you have like other like see the green's a little more potent potent um opaque if you have other options for me that are like don't bleed through heavily except for what I like about the Aura Stell one is like you can you can see it still right it's pretty there I just like take a tape roller um like this Tombow one I go through these like this is like a 10 year favorite here. Um, and I usually just like, if I don't use this page, I probably most likely never will. I just like roll it and then stick it and then you won't see it on the other side. If you have other like highlighter options that don't bleed through but are like really light, let me know. Also, I do a lot of like uh, square bullet points. So I like that you can like fill this in because if it was like a chisel tip, I feel like this would be a little bit harder to see. It's like, I don't know. I feel like chisels are a little harder for me to like figure out where they're going, but I also just might be annoying. I don't know. So I got that. And then I also picked up these pens because I've heard about them and I don't know. Right now I'm using, um, this which I love these pens the blend pens I just randomly picked it up at a Japanese bookstore and I've been using them for like I think a year and a half or two years um this is in I think 0.5 yeah and it's like really smooth um gel whereas for example this is also a 0.5 ink 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 joy gel um for a second I was like do I even have this on it's like a thicker like these are both 0.5 but this is like a juicier 0.5 and this is like a smoother, skinnier. And then this here, I believe is also a 0.5. Um, but I think I really like this. I don't know why. And I like how teeny it is and chunky. Um, so this is my first test. It's a thicker. It's a thicker. It's a thicker one for sure. It doesn't bleed through though. 
but I don't know. I might just use it for like notes and things. I use like random pens, but I like this like skinnier 0.5 of the blend. She is a baby. And then I got the Micron one, um, archival ink. I think you can write on, um, like washi sticky notes with this, I believe. I think I have one I can test it on too, but this is like a marker, which I haven't written with a marker in like a hundred years. That's cute though. And it's like skinnier and it's not as juicy. I'm so sorry. Let's just do this. It's not as juicy. I feel like I'm writing in olden times. Like it's like scratchy, kind of like a, like a quill. Okay. Let me see. I'm pretty sure that this is the one that writes on transparent sticky notes that everyone uses. And I was like, maybe I should try it out. I thought I had a transparent sticky note around these parts. I have like tabs. It's the same thing here. Okay. Barely transparent, I'm telling you, if I'm being honest. Am I stationary queen now? I don't really know. It's definitely a little like, like not smooth. It's like dotty because the ink is like clumping in spots. So maybe this wasn't the pen that people use on these. I'll give it a second. I'm scared. Yeah, no. I don't think that that was the one. I don't think it was the one. Let me know what pen you can use on these because it's not that one. If I'm being honest with you. Or maybe these are the wrong, like, type of. Maybe it's the wrong type of, like, laminate on this or something. I don't know. Let's look at that a second. <laughs> oh, gosh. No. I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> Comment down below. I know nothing. No nothing. Okay. Where is it? Yeet her over here. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. And let me show you the um the weeks situation. So this is a um Oristel Any Plans collab. Um and then you've got the little cover, which is very cute. Tiki's branding is always on point. Um it's the weekly catch all weeks, and I did order a cover for this. Um, I also ordered a passport cover because I think that'd be cute to like switch out a wallet for because I feel like I always need something to write notes on the go but I hate like pulling out a note app which I think might be a me thing which actually this would be really cute in a passport cover so maybe that's what I'll save it for um, so this is like they always have like this which is really fun like a little inspiration guide of sorts um, so yeah so you have the weekly overview grid page one two and three and then it continues I like that there's the grid pages in between, not only do you have more room to like write things, but also it's good for like, if you just don't want to like see through the other side, you could just glue them together. Like I said, um, and then you have your monthly structure. So, and I like that this inside's like, it's not like this color purple, but it's not gray. You know, it's like a dusty lilac. I don't know. Um, you have a for your overview and then you have just some like two double column situations then you have a monthlies and then you go into the weeklies so you have um there's no it's a very 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 light clear grid um I think like it's very very light um I think you see more of the grid underneath it um than the grid that's like on it so that's like something to consider, but I kind of like it because it, it almost is just like a guideline of where to write versus being like a grid. Um, and you have like the side things and then you have like the grid page and then another two, like I said, two grids and then you just go to the next week. I actually used a layout like this for a whole year. Um, I would write down things over here. Um, and I think she has something like this in, I think, I don't know if it's B6 or A6. She has something similar. So if you don't like the like proportions of this, um, but I would just write down my like daily tasks here. 
like like a top three and then I would write down like it would be it was mostly a work planner so I would have my um, new releases here and then I have like socials on the side and then on the bottom I'd have like other things um, so I think it's a very like universal situation it'd be nice inside a um, purse because it's very easily um, I was gonna say commutable but like that's not what I'm looking for so that's everything I got from Aura Estelle and Plana Hannah. Okay, another haul bit, just a quick one, but these sitting on my desk needed to be unboxed. So I have the little freebie from Aura Estelle again. And then I picked up two different things. So she did go ahead and send me over the weeks, which I will show you real quick. I think by now this has been revealed slash released. Um, sent me the week, so I thought to have a week's cover would be kind of smart. So I did pick up this one. I'm not sure the color. If you want to know, let me know in the comments down below. But it's like the nude color. I thought it was quite cute. Um, it does have one of the straps that you could like take out and put a different one in. Or adjust it to like fit the size you need with two pen um, loops. As well as the elastic if you wanted to... Um, hold on, I'm getting an alert on my phone. Um, if you wanted... It's on my watch too and I can't concentrate with okay uh with elastic with the little things you can like string it through and do notebooks in there as well two of these like ribbons along with some pockets and then some card slots and then Oristel uh foil stamped on there pocket in the front as well which is very cute love her perfect for a um what's it called like a purse or for t on the go so you have that and you can fit that in there and then just go ahead and button it up. It is pretty like it probably could fit two on the one that it comes in. So you probably have to like move it on in, which is pretty simple to do. Yeah, that'd be better. And then it's pretty nice and snug in there, especially if you had a pen. Perfect, 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 along with the strings, which I will keep for that and then I did also pick this up in the same exact color I believe yeah and this is the passport size and this came I believe with this I don't I'm not 100% sure if this comes with it or if this is an add-on um I don't really know I, I'm not 100% sure so anyways this is the passport size planner cover and I've never had actually had a passport size I don't think but I thought it'd be perfect because I've been finding myself like needing something to like write things in like I could do notes app I'm just such like a I want to write on paper person and I actually even have a pen it's like hidden away that I'm perfect for this but something that I can put in my um purse and actually use as a wallet as well I'm pretty sure you can put cards in here. I don't want any cards that I could like show on camera, but I do. Actually, here's the pen that I was thinking. Can test it off camera and see. Yeah, I actually don't think there's anything. No, I'm not gonna, you know what I mean? It does fit cards, but um, I was thinking like this pen maybe, but also this pen might be too fat. So JK on that one. I don't want to have to like shove it in. What about this one? That would work actually it's not as it doesn't have that rubberiness so it's like it's a good fit so super cute um same kind of actual idea as what is in there and you even have the little like charm spot but it's like same thing just shrunk you have the little strap here that you can switch in again i think this might be an add-on i'm not sure if you just threw that in and then the strings and then i did go ahead and pick up some passport notebooks i don't know if i want to get just maybe like one i don't know if i love the idea of having multiple but i figured might as well just pick them up to have. And I like that once I fill one up, I can just get rid of it. Um, but they're in these really pretty colors, like beyond gorgeous that goes with this. And they're like the Annie Plans or Estelle stamped. And then they just have like kind of like daily, I guess, with a little time on it, monthly spreads. It's actually very, very cute and little. But I don't know. I'm like never been huge. Oh, this one's just a grid. This one is a... Uh doesn't say on them what they are really so that one's grid this one's like an hourly slash day same thing is this one also a grid then no so one grid um but I kind of like having them just like tucked in here and then I f I'm not have never been huge on strings but I could always try it out I feel like I might want like a thicker notepad to put in there but 
these all will like if I put the strings in would fit nicely if I moved this in one more um it also came with this which again I'm not sure if it came with or they like threw it in but it has like some week days of the week and months and numbers and monthly things and all kinds of stickers in here but yeah overall super super thrilled might just be on the lookout for like a thicker like passport notebook but also maybe not I haven't decided yet I am up in the air but I'm thinking what I want to do is, is I'm going to keep this just to kind of play around with um, and then this one I'm going to throw into my purse as a wallet um, I think this will do me much much good um I think it's super, super cute. So that's everything that I picked up from Miss Aura Estelle. We have a little mini hurl for you. This is a Plana Hannah order. Of course, of course, of course. I also had a custom multi. This is in font two in matte silver for last week. I actually need to send her my customs today. It's been a wild and crazy Monday. Um, so first things first is the journaling card super cute we do have a little free sticker little sunglasses there freebies otherwise i do have my freebie that i think will be changing by the time you see this video or will be soon to be changing which i can show you in a second but this one says a dragon without its rider is a tragedy a rider without their dragon is dead it's very fourth wing inspired you know you know um, then I also do have the, I believe this is the uh, freebie of the month question mark. It says today is full of possibility and has a bunch of dates on the bottom, like date, um, like petters situation. Super cute. I do have some custom multis. So these are for kits. I'm not going to put them in the kits because it'll just take me forever to figure out what they're for. So this one I believe is in rose gold. It's in like the liney font couldn't tell you what the font name is um also have another one of those in rose gold the vibes immaculate super cute um then I, and I also make these for my like I make them digitally so they do look a little different like corner wise and stuff and like maybe even font size and then I send them to Hannah because I'm trying to make her life easier I also have this one which is in the like it was like a font of the month I believe maybe question mark or maybe it's I don't know it's hearts heart words dove bubbles in the uh heart hollow font I mean foil you know and then also same font I do have a I think it's lavender then I also have a this is the font of the month which is like a tattoo font in the color of the month foil color of the month very 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 cute super cute do I remember ordering this nope did I I guess so then I have these things I don't know what the idea was maybe it was like I would like I don't know like figure it out later type situation and like put it with a core foil um, but this is the foil of the month currently it's like a like watery water drop blue kind of situation I did get the solid underlays two of those one of the mixed overlays one of the shine bottom washi and then the um label I think maybe I meant to get label I mean font too but I don't really know and then I also picked this up for a spread that I already did that I needed the bottom washi for which I don't, I think it was for the love spell spread. I needed a bottom washi. I figured I would just get a custom one and ask for the two different heart washi overlays. And that is everything. But I will show you my new foil bundle collab with Hannah. So this will be my new freebie starting, I believe, the first. So it says grow through what you go through. And it says with you, me time, and then some little deco bits. Then we have the foil bundle, which is a fruit theme. So it does have... Um, some overlays this is a like double box one and then you do have the Planet Hannah confetti headers there you have the Hannah's little thing icons as well as some scripts in this really cute kind of like groovyish font the underlays are these wild and crazy fruity underlays which are so stinking cute made these myself it's not a pattern I put all the fruit together I think it looks so fun it actually looks like very solid in a way like very thick and then also you have this is like the new format of my bundles where it has the whole reinforcers in here three of the headers deco 15 millimeter strips and then the um, date numbers which do match the font but this is also the Planet Hannah confetti and then the fruit which I think turned out very very cute then as the add-on, you do have a tall box here with the fruit on it. Should have picked a better foil for 
shown y'all. And then you have a bunch of quotes. These are individually cut so you can like put them on full boxes because this used to be um, <clears throat> one quote box and then some whole reinforcers, but I think this works out really, really cute. So there's all of you, fine apple, life is peachy, eat local, love grows here, farm fresh, never go grocery shopping, hu grocery shopping hungry. So be really cute with like a foil on the, I mean a kit that's coming out. You'll see soon. Um, and then we make a great pair. So, and also I think this really goes through, goes with Hello, the bundle as well. So that is everything from the good old Planana. We are on my call, on my call. Thank you, Kirsten, for supplying me with this wax to smell for you. Okay, so Winnie the Pooh collection. I love Winnie the Pooh. I'm going to tell you that right now. I think Winnie the Pooh was adorable. I loved Winnie the Pooh as a kid one of the very few cartoons that I liked um but let's go ahead into it so first things first is we do have a ticker also fantasy wax is linked down below as per always I will say that there was no fantasy wax in the last haul because I did put those in vlog clips and um one of those vlogs I deleted all the clips because I was like Andrea you are annoying and no one wants to listen to you talk and sometimes that happens um but I also have a coupon code which is also linked down below orange dreamsicle birthday cake buttercream frosting very tigger. Nick reminds me of Tigger so much. This smells. <coughs> I still have allergies. It smells just like an orange creamsicle. I think this would be great for summertime. Like this is giving me July energy. Super yummy. Um, oh, and uh, rabbit. I love rabbit. Rabbit is like, I think, my spirit animal. Yellow cake, banana cream pie, and mallow, mallow fluff very banana-y. I think Hannah will really like this one because she loves banana scents. Super yum. The next one here is Kanga, which Kanga is such a sweetie. Fresh picked strawberries, honeydew melon, and watermelon. So cute. She was such a gentle parent, like one of the gentle moms. Smells very much so kind of like a 90s like Bath and Body Works spray. Love that. I feel like Kanga would be so into that. And then Eeyore, which is lavender marshmallow in Beach Nights type. Eeyore is so cute. Ooh. I didn't know if I would like this one or not, but this smells so good. Mmm. Delicioso. This would be a perfect, like, laundry room, bathroom, or just kind of, like, a chill. Kind of what I want to, like, read a book and, like, cozy up in a blanket kind of scent. Christopher Robin, which is graham crackers, fresh picked strawberries, and birthday cake. I never really had too much of an opinion on Christopher Robin. But he was like, all right. Mmm. It smells good, though. I think the strawberries is, like, very minimal, but it just adds, like, a, like a slight fruity sweet to it. So it's super yummy. We have Pooh Bear, which, can we talk about Pooh Bear? He's so stupid cute. It's annoying. Theo reminds me so much of Pooh. Honey butter rolls, French baguette, and pretzel. I feel like if my kids were, I don't even know who Lila would be. Probably, um, what's Kenya's kid's name? Rue. Do we do Rue yet? Or is there no Rue? Lila would be Rue. Theo would be uh, Pooh. Which poo smells so good. My favorite so far. Honey butter rolls, French baguette, and pretzel. And then Bennett would also be Tigger because him and Nick are literally the same person. 100%. Piglet is pistachio, sugared, waffle cone, and vanilla cupcakes. Or Lila would be um, the half lump. Because half lump is super cute too. This one's super yummy. Very pistachio y. Very yummy bakery. Half lump is cotton candy, frosting, sweet lavender, mango fluff. Yeah, that's very Lila. Mmm, that smells so good. Another one that's very, like, it's like a sweet laundry scent, which is super yummy. Then you, oh, Rue, duh, blueberry and bear claws. Mm, smells, sounds yum. Mmm, that's going to be so yummy. I'm not, like, a big fan of blueberry, but whenever it's mixed with the right bakery, I feel like it works. Oh, bother, which is pineapple upside down cake, cherry pine yellow cake. This <laughs> sounds stressful. I don't like pineapple. I'm going to save this one for last. Um, 100 Acre Wood, which is morning beignet, vanilla custard, and cinnamon sugar donuts. Oh my gosh, I love the Disney shapes. Ooh. Oh 
It smells like something I know, and it's really good. It's a very, like, nice vanilla scent. The cinnamon isn't coming out, like, super, like, red-hot cinnamon or, like, spicy cinnamon. It's just, like, a nice, like, even cinnamon. Owl. Oh, my God. Palo Santo Blue Sugar and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. That sounds so good. I love Palo Santo and Blue Sugar mixed together. It's, like, yeah. It's so good, y'all. Mmm. Yummy, 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 yummy. I love this. It's very, like, a library owl, you know. And then this one, pineapple. Ugh. Yeah, I hate it. I don't like pineapple. It's just really hard for me. It's really hard to be mean, but I think Hannah likes pineapple, so I'll probably just pass that on to her if she does. I think, unless I'm, like, sometimes I don't really know. Sometimes I've been told what everyone likes a million times, and then I forget because I don't even remember what I like half of the time. So, yeah. So, that is everything. So good. Thank you, Kirsten. I always appreciate it. I feel like my wax collection for a really long time was getting kind of wild. But then I did, like, a couple de-stashes, and I've been melting wax, like, pretty consistently now. And I'm, like, excited to change out my scents. And I have, like, mostly because I don't buy a ton of wax anymore because if I... I, like, Kirsten gives me wax, and then also I'll, like, get, like, extras of whatever I want. Like, that's, like, my faves. I, I don't want to be, like, a hoarder, though. Um, and I have, like, this, like, motivation to get further into my collection because I melt, like, from oldest to newest. And at some point, my collection goes, like, 90% fantasy wax, and I am, like, just ready. I'm just very ready to be like 90% fantasy wax because I feel like it's always bangers. So that's everything for this portion. Okay, I got, I got a big wax order. A big wax order, you know. I also have um, just like a little vinyl order. So that's literally the heaviest bag ever. Ugh. Okay, let me show you the vinyl order first. I just ordered some vinyls because, you know, book early, doing the doom. So, um, Art by Viva. I ordered on Etsy, I think. So this is just Reader, with like a hollow background. And then I have these like crying eyes with the like hollow sparkly tears. And then I have the like Mr. Darcy, Darcy, Darcy bust. Um, I thought that was a very cute and that is clear. It's like a matte clear, kind of cool. But love those. We'll try and remember to link down below. But let's go ahead and get into this wax order because it is thick um um yeah I don't know what um I think this might be a wax order plus she gave me the I don't know I think she um I don't know what I did exactly I think she gave me the whole uh princess diaries line and then I had a pre-order open and then I also ordered extras slash things, okay? So basically, let's just sort this real quick and then I'll show you what what I did here. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, there's some things that are like repeats of things I've had before and then here we go. And then I'll show you my pre-order last. Okay. Okay. So first things first is the freebies, which she just kind of went ham and put them all in. So, uh, yeah, let's go through those first. There's literally a bazillion. So if you didn't know, Kirsten's one of my fave people in the whole world. So she just gives me my order. It doesn't get shipped, but you can order from Fantasy Wax, use my code, it'll get shipped to your door. So this is a freebie of blueberry pecan waffles. Mmm, that's yummy. I probably would melt, like, because I have two warmers in my office, like, do, like, two and two and, like, mix them. Uh, cocoa butter cashmere. Let me move these over. I feel like just everything just smells good because it's a combination of wax. That one smells really good, too. Very nice, like, body care scent. Then we have Barber Shop. I don't know if I'm gonna like this one. Yeah, this one's very like cologne manly kind of scent. I, but if you I feel like you mix with like a bakery, it might be good. Um, Summer Boardwalk type. Mmm. This smells exactly like Summer Boardwalk from Bath and Body Works, which for me, that was like an obsession. I got it like every year that it came out and I still have them. 
Cherry Jolly Ranchers, super, super fruity sweet. And then Blackberry Lemonade. Mmm. I like this one. This one is going to go in my office for sure. Then for things that I ordered, I did order some doubles. Well, like I ordered extras of some of the uh, like Princess Mia ones. The what's it called? And then I did order some other things that were in stock. So the one thing that I ordered that was in stock is Not My Daughter UB. I'm pretty sure this is from the Harry Potter collection. This one is blackberry jam butter cookies, blackberry cobbler and sugar cookies. It smells so stinking good. It's like the perfect mixture of bakery and like sweetness. I also ordered Owl, which is from the Winnie the Pooh collection, which is Palo Santo, Blue Sugar and Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. Oh my God. This one's also everything. I love Palo Santo. And I also love Blue Sugar, those two together. This is like my kind of like manly scent that I like. It just smells so stinking good. And I think the rest of them are all like the doubles. Like these are the doubles I ordered and then everything else is from the Princess Mia. So let's go over the ones that I ordered doubles of. We got Lord Nicholas, which again, Blue Sugar and Stormy Nights type. I don't know what Stormy Nights is, but I love Blue Sugar. It smells good. It smells like... um blue sugar mixed with like a laundry scent so that one is noise then we have princess mia which is sugar cookies birthday cake and zucchini bread mm -hmm. this one smells so good i might actually melt this on my birthday because i think that that's going to be a vibe and the other one that i ordered uh an extra of is a very cute mousse which is brown sugar zucchini bread and old town bake shop Mm-hmm. Yeah, it smells like dough, like sugary dough, like sugary dough. That's the only way I can describe it, but it smells so good, like a donut dough or something. Mm. Princess Sweet, which is pink lemonade and boom boom tight. I always thought it was bum bum. Mm-hmm. This is a really nice, like sweet, but has that lemony body care scent. I have my own mall, which is a uh, peach pie, salted caramel, and vanilla ice cream. The peach actually isn't too bad in this. Normally, I don't really like peach. It's just like a nice like little tinge, but it's mostly just like sweet and salty, so it's super yummy. Slumber Party, which is pink frosted animal cookies and cuppy cake. Mmm. Mmm. That one's real good. I think this one might have sold out by the time that I got there, but that one smells so stinking good. Fairy Tale Ending, which is strawberry pound cake, strawberry bread, and summer scoop. Mmm, that's like a really good strawberry scent. Oh, that one I'm also getting out of my office because no one else is going to get to sniff that one. Shut Up, which is Cafe Vienna, Zucchini Bread, and Glazed Donuts. Mmm, this is a really nice coffee scent. It's very minimal on the coffee, but it's like more of like a bitter coffee than like a sweet coffee, so I like that. Your Crowning Glory, which is French Baguette, Pistachio Pudding Cake, and Tea and Cakes. Mmm, that one's really good. I feel like tea and cakes really just is like such a good scent. Mm. Maurice, which is cotton candy, lemon curd, and rice krispies. This one just smells like Fruit Loops pretty much to me. But that's like an OG love. Dear Diary, which is raspberry custard tart, cream cheese frosting, and pie crust. Mmm. This one smells like almost like... It sounds bad. It smells sour, but it smells like a sour berry, which is is good. I like that. It's it's. A, I think it's a little more tolerable than like a sweet berry sometimes. Queen of Genovia, which is fresh pear ice cream scoop bread and yellow cake. I feel like I'm not really doing well on my drinking today. Do I hear my stomach growl? Oh, the fresh pear. The pear is not my fave, but it might smell really good on warm whenever these other like cake scents come out. That was that. But then we move on to my pre-order, which I'm sorry, Kirsten. I'm sorry for, for what I did to you. I just, I apologize. But, oh, I have another freebie in here. I have another freebie in here. Assuming she gave me so many freebies because she loves me so much. All right. So this one is a cherry cheesecake. Hmm. That's actually pretty good. I think, like... Like fruit mixed with like bakery is a good time. Green apple, I don't know about this one. 
guys. Very, very green apple-y. Okay, so this is what I did. Those colors are cool though. All right, so let's go ahead and separate these because I did order just a bunch of the same things, if I'm being honest with you, and then three random ones that I was like, okay, let's do these two. So I like them in chunks. They're just easy, make my life easy. I feel like they're the perfect amount of wax for a warmer. Um, usually this is like two rooms for me. I use these in bigger rooms normally, unless I'm like, this is all mine. And then I just use it in my office because I just want to like smell it for long periods of time. So this is apple strudel, cornbread and pretzel. Oh my God. It's so good. It's annoying. I should have ordered 16 of these. Oh, it's so good. Wow. Wow. I just love apple strudel. I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, Palo Santo brown sugar and glazed oats. I don't know why I read that in the wrong order, but you know, here we are. Mm. Oh my God. Oh my God. I should have ordered this one in a thousand of them. I just love Palo Santo mixed with bakery. It's just so good. Zucchini bread, vanilla butter, fudge, and sugar milk. Mm, this one smells so good too. Oh my god. Mm, I should order 30 of those. Oh, so good. I love sugar milk. I think it smells so good. I did order four of each of these. So blue sugar, warm vanilla sugar, and zucchini bread. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Mm-hmm. This is everything. This is everything. I'm obsessed. I love it. It smells amazing, delicious, perfect. And I am going to be the happiest. Why well, I'm going to be. I am the happiest girl in the whole wide world. And then the other one that I ordered four of is Palo Santo Toasted Malo and Sugar Cookie Royale. This one, this, this order is just, oh my God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's just like so God dear. It's so good. I feel like if you don't, if you're like, I don't know about it. Blue Sugar and Palo Santo. If you're not like super in to the like, like cologne types usually, you should try this out, especially whenever Kirsten blends it with these like bakery scents. I don't, I mean, I like Palo Santo by itself, but I prefer it with bakery and Blue Sugar. Blue Sugar is a little sweeter. Palo Santo is not like sweet really, but mixed with these like bakery blends. Oh my God, it's so good. Even like these ones here with the um, more bakery. It's just, it's a vibe. It's perfect. I'm so excited to have these. I, I feel annoying because I know that the mini chunks are annoying and like loaves are easier, but oh my God, I've never been happier. This is like, this is all I need. This is all I need in life. I'm just obsessed. So that's everything for fantasy wax for this portion. I don't know if there's gonna be another portion, probably, but, um, I will link Fantasy Wax down below as per always and have my coupon code, which I believe is SPC 15 or 10. I'm not sure. So that's everything for this part.